Europe prepares for hot war with Russia. U.S. readies for hot war with China. Multiple empire managers have made separate public statements around the same time, which, taken together, serve as a disturbing reminder of the dark things our rulers have planned for our future. The U.S. Navy chief has unveiled a plan to be ready for hot war with China by 2027, while the U.S. Deputy Secretary of State calls China the most significant challenge the U.S. has ever faced in its entire history. At the same time, the EU's defense chief says Europe must prepare to fight a hot war with Russia in the next few years. In an article titled "EU's Defense Chief Says Europe Must Be Ready to Fight Russia in Six to Eight Years," anti-war's Dave DeCamp writes the following: quote, "Andreas Kabulius, a former Lithuanian prime minister and the EU's first defense commissioner." Has said Europe must be ready to fight Russia within six to eight years. Defense ministers and NATO generals agree that Vladimir Putin could be ready for a confrontation with NATO and the EU in six to eight years. Kabulius told Reuters, "If we take these assessments seriously, then that is the time for us to properly prepare, and it is a short one. This means we have to take quick decisions and ambitious decisions." He added. End quote. These comments come not long after we learned that NATO is developing multiple land corridors to rush troops to the front line of a future hot war with Russia in Eastern Europe, while amassing hundreds of thousands of troops in preparation for such a conflict. In another article titled "U.S. Navy Chief Unveils Plan to Be Ready for War with China by 2027," DeCamp writes, "Quote: Chief of Naval Operations Admiral Lisa Franchetti." The highest-ranking officer in the U.S. Navy unveiled a plan on Wednesday to be ready for a war with China by 2027, as the U.S. military is preparing for a direct fight with Beijing, despite the risk of nuclear war. The plan lays out goals to be reached by 2027, including making 80 percent of the naval force ready for combat deployments on short notice. Franchetti told the Associated Press she wants to increase combat readiness, so if the nation calls us, we can push the go button, and we can surge our forces to be able to meet the call. End quote. De Camp notes that while Franchetti says the U.S. is preparing for war with China by 2027 because that is the year the President Xi told his forces to be ready to invade Taiwan, we've never actually seen any evidence that this is the case. This widely repeated claim entered the mainstream narrative solely based on unsubstantiated assertions from the U.S. intelligence cartel, not from any known statements by Xi Jinping himself. As a side note, Franchetti is the same official we discussed back in July, who said the AUKUS military alliance, which is geared toward roping Australia into a future U.S.-driven military confrontation with China, will remain in place no matter who wins the presidential election. The fact that U.S. warmongering will continue no matter who wins the presidential race is obvious to anyone who's been paying attention. But it was very interesting to see a manager of the U.S. war machine make such a frank admission in public. Finally, in an article titled "Deputy Secretary of State: China is the Most Significant Challenge in U.S. History," De Camp writes the following quote. Deputy Secretary of State Kurt Campbell said on Wednesday that China is the most significant challenge the United States has ever faced. There is a recognition that this is the most significant challenge in our history. Campbell told the House Foreign Affairs Committee, according to AFP, "Frankly, the Cold War pales in comparison to the multifaceted challenges that China presents." Campbell is a longtime China hawk and has been pushing for more of a focus on the Asia Pacific since the Obama administration, and is considered the architect of the so-called Asia Pivot. He was confirmed as the Deputy Secretary of State back in February and previously served as the top Asia official on President Biden's National Security Council. End quote. To say that China poses the most significant challenge ever to a nation that has fought in two world wars and spent decades waging a world-threatening cold war says a lot about where these empire goons see things headed in the coming years. 
In July, the highest-ranking U.S. military officer, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Charles Q. Brown, said he was fully confident that the U.S. would win a war with China over Taiwan, saying, These will be major conflicts akin to what we saw in World War II, and so we've got to come to grips with that. No one is more dangerous than warmongers who believe they can win an unwinnable war. Perhaps the strongest evidence that the U.S. empire is not run by rational actors is the way all facts show that a war with China could not be won and would destroy the economy and the ecosystem. And yet, all facts also show they're preparing to wage this war anyway. As we discussed recently, Russia has already stated that it is prepared to join with China in a fight against Western aggressions. The Western power structure that is centralized around the United States is preparing to wage a global war against multiple nuclear-armed states. Revolution is becoming a matter of existential urgency for our entire species.